They're the faces of some of the youngest victims of the Holocaust, Jewish children who escaped a near certain death at the hands of the Nazis. Their pictures taken by relief agencies after World War II. This 16-year-old girl watched her two brothers and her aunt cremated. She has lost her father and mother. In 1945, the BBC turned to the radio, hoping to reunite children with lost family. Some 66 years later, their photos are now turning up on the Internet. They're part of an online program by the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum called Remember Me. It tells the story of the Holocaust through a child's eyes. I've always understood that these are people were just kids when this happened, but seeing the child first, I think, makes that understanding on a much deeper level than just an intellectual level. One of those children is Nathan Kronowski. He's the son of Jewish immigrants from Poland and was living in Paris when the war started. I'm afraid I have just about no memory uh, of either of my parents. Nathan's father was arrested in 1941. A year later, the same fate fell to his mother. At four years old, Nathan was now an orphan. His aunt placed him in hiding with a Catholic couple. In those days, only Jews would have the name Nathan. Uh, I was called Pierre. Nathan says he remembers very little from the war, except for one day when he came face to face with a couple of German soldiers. What I do remember is the dog they had with them. He was probably bigger on four feet than I was on two. And that dog frightened me. <laughs> I remember the dog. I think it was a German shepherd. Nathan moved to the U.S. after the war, eventually becoming a professor of French. He never knew what happened to his parents. The answer he found many years later in a book that followed Jews from France during the war. It was like seeing a tombstone for the first time. That was the effect it had on me. Nathan's father was sent on Convoy 7 to Auschwitz. He was gassed upon arrival. His mother was on Convoy number 12 to Auschwitz, also killed upon arrival. It was a, a very emotional moment. Uh, it was the closest I could come today to some connection with my father and then again with my mother, whose name I also saw in that book. <laughs> now in his 70s, Nathan still considers himself a survivor. And it's stories like his, along with countless others, the museum is hoping to tell by asking the basic question, Remember me. Nicole Grether, The Associated Press.